Hi, this is part two of Google Finance. In the first video, I actually ran out of time and wasn't able to give an example of looking at a, a specific company. So here we are at uh, the Markets tab. I'm going to type in um, Apple, which is A-A-P-L. But if you just type the company name, it will come up with a list of what it thinks you're searching for. So I'm now going to go ahead and click Apple. So when you're looking for a specific company, you're going to be brought to a page with the financials about that company. Now on the left hand side, we can see that we're in summary mode here. So we can see uh, trading uh, information about uh, the uh, shares in this particular company. As I come down, we can actually see a chart here, uh, an interactive chart as well, about the uh, financials for uh, trading in shares on this company as well. We can see on the right hand side information uh, related to the particular company we're looking at. Um, we can see here uh, related companies to um, the company that we're currently looking at. As we come down we can see blog uh, related articles uh, being discussed, uh, again the company uh, that we're looking at currently. In the right hand corner here we can see key stats and ratios, uh, the address of the company, uh, external links related to the company, so news releases, maybe investor relations, etc. Uh, a description about the company being pulled from the Reuters website. And then other uh, external links that might be useful related to this company. And then we can see a list of officers and directors here, again being uh, pulled from Reuters. We can see that Timothy Cook is the chief, uh, chief uh, operating officer for Apple. And if we click on that, we can see a photo of him. And then if we click on bio and compensation, I'm going to do that into a new, win, uh, a new tab, sorry. Just give this uh, a few moments to load, so we'll come back to that in a moment. Uh, we can certainly find a full list of all the officers and directors of the company by clicking on this link here for uh, Reuters. And let's come back. So we can see uh, Reuters is giving um, information here about uh, Apple. And then specifically we click the link about uh, uh, Timothy Cook. And we can find more information about him here. And uh, any options and basic compensation uh, that has had to be declared legally about him working for that company. So uh, on the face of it, looking at this, uh, you can get a lot of information uh, about the company but I'm just going to come to this um, chart here. And what we're looking at is the, uh, the financials, uh, the shares being traded. And you can see a decline here from Wednesday to Thursday to Friday. Now, at the moment, we know uh, we're a bit of an unstable uh, world with um, certainly uh, many um, of the Muslim countries at the moment, Egypt, uh, Tunisia, um, uh, Libya, etc., uh, having really volatile uh, times at the moment. So with oil, uh, the price of oil uh, going all over the place at the moment, certainly that spooked um, the markets and many shares have uh, tumbled a bit. So we can see that reflected here. Now, we can see that we've got... Um, these letters here. And these letters actually relate to news stories about um, this particular um, company. So if I click on the A, we can see immediately it's uh, lining up here, this particular story. So often, uh, well in fact actually there's A, B, C, D and E. So there's uh, quite a few articles related uh, on Friday the 18th of uh, February to Apple and certainly by clicking through those we can get a sense of maybe what's happening why the price uh, is coming down so you might find uh, that useful um, and then if we look at uh, Wednesday the 16th of February just click on the I there and we can see um, that there's uh, a link from smartmoney.com that we might want to read related to Apple on that day now, you'll see as my uh, mouse has turned into a little hand and I'm just working along backwards over that day, you'll see it's interactive, so the price and volume metrics are changing on the top there. We can also come into uh, one day's trading. So this is intraday uh, trading for um, last Friday. Uh, as I think I've mentioned in a previous video, it's President's Day today, so we're not uh, having any trades today in the US, so the market's closed. So this will be Friday's closing data, and we can see an intraday uh, value here. So that might be useful. If you want to do a, a compare, we can compare against uh, the NASDAQ in general. 
So we can see that NASDAQ certainly outperformed Apple shares uh, last Friday. Let's just come out of that. Now it might be that you want to compare um, other uh, companies. So let's go and look at Google, for instance. Now, as we started typing, it's come up with Google. So we're going to select that. And it's also come up with a few other companies uh, related as well. So we've got Dell and Microsoft here, for instance, and Adobe. So we're seeing that uh, Google's uh, shares certainly traded uh, a lot higher than Apple's uh, at close of play. Uh, let's go ahead and put Microsoft and Dell in there as well. So we can see for the intraday trading on uh, Friday the 18th of February uh, 2011, we can see all those companies there um, being listed. So um, if you're working with uh, stocks and shares or perhaps you're writing articles about a particular company, uh, you're interested in how a particular company is uh, performing in a sector, then Google Finance will certainly um, allow you to um, come ahead and find out more information about specific companies and then, as you see, uh, compare. We can also uh, link uh, to this view as well. So if you want to share uh, this particular information that you've uh, compiled, um, you can link to this view. We can also, if I just click the settings button, add in uh, extra information as well and change the chart types too. So this is a free service. Uh, I'm currently logged in here. You don't have to be logged in uh, to use uh, Google Finance as long as you're not wanting to use, I'm just gonna come back to the main page. As long as you're not wanting to use portfolios, then um, the service you don't have to be logged into. Uh, and you can see here under top stories now, uh, because I do have a portfolio under this account where I've been looking at Apple shares today, you can see I've also got the portfolio related uh, stories now coming up here. So in the video I showed just now, um, there was only the one tab for market, but because it now knows I'm logged in and I've been looking at Apple shares, it's providing information there as well. And we can see the portfolio information listed on the right hand side. So uh, it's a great free service. If you're not looking at running portfolios uh, to manage uh, your shares, then or manage your share information, then it, it, uh, all the everything else can be used um, without logging in. And certainly by finding more information about uh, companies uh, for free, then this uh, really, uh, Google Finance, I think uh, trumps many of the other free services out there that are available uh, online. I'm thinking of Yahoo uh, Finance, for instance. So hopefully uh, this couple of videos on Google Finance have whet your appetite for using this service 